Have you ever wondered how your morning coffee gets its unique flavor? The journey of coffee beans is a fascinating tale that begins with green raw seeds nestled inside the vibrant coffee cherry. These green beans are dense, carrying a grassy aroma and devoid of the familiar coffee flavor we know and love, but don't be fooled by their humble beginnings. What they lack in flavor, they make up for in potential. Each bean holds the promise of a rich, aromatic cup of coffee, waiting to be unlocked through a meticulous process. This process is a transformative journey, a metamorphosis that sees these green seeds shed their grassy character and bloom into the flavorful brown beans we cherish. Each bean embarks on this journey, destined to star in your favorite espresso latte or simple cup of joe. And the name of this transformative journey, it's the art and science of coffee roasting. The transformation of these green beans into the flavorful brown beans is a meticulous process called coffee roasting. The coffee roasting process is a fine blend of science and intuition, involving several key stages. It all begins with preheating the roasting machine, setting the stage for transformation. The green beans are added, and the temperature is carefully controlled. The timing at this stage is equally crucial, as it directly influences the overall roast. Once inside the preheated roaster, the beans enter the drying phase. Here, the moisture content in the beans is significantly reduced. This is a critical stage, as it ensures even roasting and prevents the development of unwanted flavors. As the temperature continues to rise, we reach an exciting milestone known as the first crack. This is an audible sound that results from the expansion of moisture and gases within the beans. It's a signal that the beans are transitioning from a dense green seed to a flavorful brown bean. Light roasts are often stopped after this first crack, preserving more of the bean's original character. Following the first crack, the beans enter the development phase. This is where the magic really happens. The sugars and acids in the beans undergo complex reactions, leading to the formation of a myriad of flavors. During this phase, roasters closely monitor the color, aroma, and crack sounds to ensure the beans are developing just right. The final stage of the roasting process is cooling, once the desired roast level is achieved, the beans are rapidly cooled to stop the roasting process in its tracks. This step is crucial in locking in the flavors and preventing over-roasting. It's like hitting the pause button at the perfect moment, capturing the beans at their peak of flavor. And there you have it. From green seeds to aromatic brown beans, the journey of coffee through the roasting process is a captivating one. The roaster's skill lies in controlling temperature, time, and airflow to bring out the desired characteristics from the beans. It's a delicate dance of science and intuition, resulting in the diverse spectrum of coffee flavors we encounter. The degree of roasting significantly influences the coffee's flavor profile. Let's explore this further. Imagine a light roast. It's like a blank canvas, retaining more of the bean's original characteristics and showcasing its unique origin flavors and acidity. It whispers the story of the soil it was grown in, the climate it thrived in. Now, picture a medium roast. It's the balance in the chaos, the equilibrium. It offers a more rounded flavor, with slight caramelization notes. It's like a harmonious symphony where no single note overpowers the other. Finally, envision a dark roast. It's the bold, the daring. It develops rich, full-bodied flavors with prominent roasted notes. The acidity decreases and oils may emerge on the surface, almost like a glossy finish on a masterpiece. Each roast is an art in itself, a testament to the roaster's skill and intuition. The art of coffee roasting results in the diverse spectrum of coffee flavors we encounter, making each cup of coffee a unique experience.